ನೂರು ಪೂಕಳೆ ನೂರು ನೂರು ಪೂಕಳೆ ಲಾಲ್ ಸಲಾಂ ಲಾಲ್ ಸಲಾಂ ಲಾಲ್ ಸಲಾಂ ಸದಾ ಕಳೆ ನೂಡು ಪೂಕಳೆ ನೂರು ನೂರು ಪೂಕಳೆ ಲಾಲ್ ಸಲಾಂ ಲಾಲ್ ಸಲಾಂ ಲಾಲ್ ಸಲಾಂ ಸದಾ ಕಳೆ ಅವಿವಾದಿ ಅಂಗಲ್ ಸದಾ ಕಳೆ ಐಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೈ ಮಲಯಾಳಂ ಡಿಕ್ಷನರಿ ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಮಲಯಾಳಂ ಬುಕಬುಲರಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಕಾಮ್ರೇಡ್ ಮಯೂಕ್ ವೈಲ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ students of kerala we look at this sfi of kerala because we believe at the time of the darkness if there are people who are singing the song of darkness this are you this are the comrades of kerala this are the sagaves of kerala this are our sfi comrades we believe we believe kerala is an alternate is an alternate to whatever is happening in this country we saw few days back few people in karnataka told women cannot enter in the school if they are covering their head If you are wearing hijab you cannot enter the schools we have seen few days back in kashmir a girl who topped the examination was trolled was harassed was bullied because she was not covering her head there are people who are going to tell women what they are going to wear they are going to wear hijab they are going to wear sari they are going to wear jeans there are going to be people who are going to dictate us when people try to dictate what women going to wear we the descendants of nangeli are going to come down to streets and say if we want we are going to wear hijab if we do not want we are not going to hijab you are not going to tell us what our clothes are going to be we are going to decide what we are going to wear we can promise only one thing if needed whatever clothes of our choice we can wear that but everyone who is sitting here we can promise that none of us are going to wear the khaki half pant of rss none of us are going to become the slaves of rss none of us are going to none of us are going to bow down to the communal polarization to the hate mongering to the politics of hate what rss bjp want us the rss bjp want us to be hindu and muslim few days back they are going to people's kitchen and trying to find out what meat you are eating are you eating chicken are you eating beef these days they are not going to kitchen anymore they have come down to our mosques they are coming down and saying that in every mosque in india behind beneath every mosque in india there is some temple we are saying don't go to mosque don't go to temple you look at your own pocket there is no money after narendra modi became the prime minister all our money is gone if at all you want to dig somewhere go dig in amit shah's home go dig in narendra modi's home you will see the black money of india you will see the money of all of our pockets are stored there student federation of india we the people we the progressive people of this country we believe this country cannot run on the basis of religion cannot run on the basis of hate today when they are coming up with national education policy they are coming up and saying if you do not have money you are not going to study the children of the farmers are going to be farmers only the children of the workers are going to be workers only student federation of india believes this is sfi this is the biggest largest student organization in india here our farmers children also can be a doctor here our workers children also can be an engineer nobody can stop us from pursuing our dreams the national education policy is trying to divide the whole student community on the basis of whether you have money or not whether you are rich or you are poor they are coming and saying there is going to be blended mode of education people have to have online access to education to get their degrees to complete their degrees when in, during the pandemic during the covid pandemic the students were struggling to find a smartphone we have seen our comrades in kerala holding tv in one hand crossing mountains crossing rivers because they believed if we are going to read all of us are going to read together not a single person are going to left behind people who didn't have tv was given tv from sfi people who didn't have smartphone was given smartphone from sfi because student federation of india independence democracy socialism the struggle for a better future cannot come like that i'm not going to extend my speech anymore i have faith i have full faith on the comrades here with the 34 state conference that you are going to organize the 34 state conference of kerala is going to show the world is going to show the student community of india that if there is a light if there is a torch that is going to give the way forward for country then this is going to be the student federation of india i am going to end my speech by saying that this is this is ide sfi an abhimanyu the sanghathana 
come the dhiraj sangathana when they tried to kill us when they tried to cut us i was reading about comrade sait ali comrade sait ali was killed because when the abvp goons were trying to molest women he stood there and said that till the time i am alive nobody is going to touch them all the girls all the women who are sitting here right here we are giving speeches we are going to our colleges we believe it is because of comrade sait ali's martyrship that we are here we are here because when comrade mustafa was fighting against the undemocracy when he was telling that if i am a student i have the right to vote i have the right to choose who is going to be the government so many of us who are sitting here comrade sachin comrade arya comrade sanu comrade aishwarya comrade rehana all of us have contested election we have contested election because we believe a, per, a responsibility of a student is not only about ensuring democracy inside our campuses but ensuring ensuring this country this country is a free democratic country when he was jailed when comrade mustafa was jailed he was tortured badly comrade mustafa's mother went and pleaded that please release my son the police superintendent said if your son come and say that i'm resigning from sfi he is going to be free comrade mustafa said if needed if needed i can stay in this jail for forever but not for a single time i'm going to betray my organization i'm going to betray my student organization we feel proud that today when we stand here we stand with the legacy of abhimanyu we stand here with the legacy of mustafa we stand here with the legacy of comrade sudipto gupto i believe it's their legacy which is going to give us light it is their legacy which is going to make us believe on ourselves shukriya and kalab zindabad sfi zindabad